Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. This time we're looking at Robin Hood Prince of Thieves movie cards. These trading cards were produced around 1991 by Topps. And we get eight movie cards and a sticker per pack. Now this is around the time we start taking gum out of the trading card packs. So don't have to worry about that. And it's also got this cellophane instead of your regular waxy paper. So obviously I've got three packs here. So let's take a look at what we've got inside the back is very very boring just a barcode and the copyright information yeah boring now these are hard to open and maintain their integrity if you're trying to collect the, the wax paper uh, but since these are cellophane they don't heat seal the same way and they tend to get very easily ripped That kind of corner cutting would become the norm for a very long time. Alright, so let's start off with this one. First up we have card number 24, Leader of the Woodsman. Then we have card number 44, Friend or Traitor. Then number 46, Preparations for a Royal Wedding. Number 16, Enter the Mysterious Sherwood Forest. I do like the back design with the little castle for the text box. That's a nice touch. Plus four character profiles with color. Pretty unheard of for a long, long time for trading cards, so really, really cool. Number 14, Ride Like the Wind. Then number 2, Robin Hood. Number 11, Evil Guy of Gisborne. And number 36, The Sheriff's Plot. Now our sticker is number 3. And it is of Will Scarlet, played by Christian Slater. And on the back we do have a puzzle piece. All right, let's get into pack number two. All right, first up is number 13, Danger in the Distance. Then we have number three, a Zem. Then number 52, Battle for Nottingham. Number 55, Happily Ever After. Now there's only 55 cards and nine stickers in the set, so be aware of that. It says it on the back of the cards, thankfully. So, spoiler alert for the movie, I guess, from 30 years ago. Number 30, Attack from Above. Number 39, Sherwood Ablaze. Number 27, Weapons of Glory. Number 5, Maid Marion. Played by the lovely Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio. And then finally, car, uh, sticker number 8.
the puzzle piece on the back is part of the upper corner with the logo and as you could have guessed you can see that the cellophane that shows the puzzle picture you got the castle at the bottom with this area here being right here so all right let's check out pack number three All right, we have a duplicate, card number 55, Happily Ever After. Then card number 30 again, Attack from Above. That's one of the drawbacks of only 55 cards in the set. Even your third pack, you have duplicates. Then we got card number 39, Sherwood Ablaze. Then still another duplicate, number 27, Weapons of Glory. Then we have card number 5 again with Maid Marion. Then we have card number 20, Temper's Flare. So not a total waste, we did get a new one. Then card number 37, Gisborne's Revenge. Then card number 34, The Spoils of War. So we got three new ones, but a whole bunch of duplicates. More than half the pack was duplicates, unfortunately. And then we've got card number 8 again. So even our sticker was a duplicate. So only three new cards. Then that would have been a little frustrating when trying to complete the set. But at least you got some new cards. So that is what you could get from inside Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. Trading cards from 1991 from Tops. They are mostly randomly inserted. Uh... They've held up really well. The card quality is great. The picture quality is good. They have got a couple of dings on a few of the corners. That's pretty normal from storage, stuff like that. But they've held up really well. And the, uh, while the gloss is kind of cheap, the card quality is really good. So I'm pretty happy with that. So if you get a chance to check these out, I think they'd be a good collection, to a uh, good addition to any collection of movie memorabilia, stuff like that. So that's going to do it for this one. We've seen what's inside. I've given you my take on it. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, you can share the video on your social media. You could uh, support me on Patreon or do a donation via Streamlabs, which accepts PayPal. Or buy yourself something nice from the merchandise store. All those links are in the description. And as always... We hope to see you on the next one.